provision at the bottom of Forms 1040 allows the taxpayer to designate a third party to represent him in the event that the IRS needs to contact the taxpayer about the return. Often this occurs with a dependent or elderly parent who relies on a responsible family member for more than just help with their taxes. But in reality, any person can be so designated on the taxpayer's behalf, including a family member, a friend, an employee, or the tax preparer. Designation of a third party gives the IRS permission to contact that individual to answer questions about any of the information reported on the return, so the taxpayer should exercise care in selecting someone with knowledge of the return. In addition, designation of a third party authorizes the designee to exchange information with the IRS concerning the return, inquire about the processing of the return, or the status of any refunds or payments request and receive copies of documents relating to the return, such as copies of notices, correspondence, or account transcripts, and respond to the IRS notices regarding math errors, offsets, and return preparation. Designation of a third party by the taxpayer does not authorize the designee to receive a refund check nor legally bind the taxpayer in any way, including to any additional tax liability, nor does it allow the designee to represent the taxpayer before the IRS. A signed power of attorney is required to expand the designee's authority to act in the taxpayer's place. However, if the taxpayer wishes to designate his paid tax preparer as the third party representative, it suffices to write preparer in the space for the designee's name. No other information is necessary since the preparer's information is provided in the paid preparer block below the signature.